Hello and welcome to GFDL. This is Alpha Watch where I look at interesting in development indie games. Today is Cannon Brawl by Turtle Sandbox and they have created one of the most interesting I, I kind of want to call it a turret defense game but it's not quite that. Um, I'll show you. It's, it's a combination of worms and turret defense. Um, so the campaign, I've played that through and it's uh, pretty good, it basically teaches you how to play the game. So what I'm going to do is uh, select local multiplayer and because it has AI in it, uh, sure that one, um, because it has AI in it I can just uh, I can fight off against that. Um, probably, I'll go against easy so I've got a little leeway. So as you can see here it has this variety of uh, selectable emplacements basically. Uh, mining camps are a must if you want any money. Uh, the balloons up the top there are for the expansion of your territory which is kind of like an aura where you are allowed to place your stuff. So I like them and them and I've never used the missiles towers because they aren't in the uh, they aren't in the campaign so I'm gonna try them out Yes, I am ready. So, if I can remember the controls, which would is a bit stupid because oh no, no, there we go. Uh, what I need first? Oh no, no, I buggered it up already. I need a balloon to expand my area, which means I can then get some mana uh, expand it a tiny bit more, and get more money. Um, which then, hopefully, uh, what I should do is move over there and then get some turrets. No, I need to wait. There we go. Okay. And once that turret has been built, I'm going to fire a thing at the floor. and hopefully get down to that diamond deposit which lets me get even more money um, which is a favorite thing of mine in this game money money helps you buy things pretty obvious what i need as well is one of these defense towers um, and one of these so i can get more money Ooh, uh, no i pressed the wrong thing there Should have been firing at the enemy there. Never mind. Let's see if I can hit their uh, stuff. Yes, I can. Haha. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Okay, you can also upgrade your thingies. Uh, and each emplacement gets certain upgrades for certain amounts of money. And I think it would be worth upgrading. That. There we go. Now they don't have any um, defense. Brilliant. Upgrade. Fire at that. Oh no. I can't actually get through their stuff. So, whew, after all that building of things, I think my favorite thing about this game is the pace. Um, as you can see, there's literally no time to do anything that isn't shooting at your enemy and hoping that they... Uh, oh, how did this work? Let me find out. Ah, oh, I'm gonna try that. Three missiles. Ah, oh, that was a... that was a dud. I entirely missed. So... Uh oh, well, that thing's gone, but hopefully so is that. So, place down some more thingies. Can I upgrade that? Yes, I can. Fire that again. I need another turret. So, if I place one here. No, hang on, there. And. And 
Can I upgrade it? Yeah, I can. So, yes, there is a lot going on at uh, well, at almost all times. And to be honest, the the uh, turret defense aspect, I've never been a fan of that kind of game. It's kind of bored me most most of the time. It's not very interesting or useful or fun. It's always just too much rubbish. Just simple gameplay, really boring enemies, boring turrets, but this um, just adds that little flair, that little speed that you need to keep up with everything that's going on, and so far... Oh, no, I've got, got that one to expand. Um, and that has really... It's really, really engaging, and, and I really enjoy it because of that. There we go. Some super huge stuff going on here. Oh, and all the stuff in the middle's gone, so... See if I can expand up top. There we go. Get rid of that, and see if I can also get rid... Oh, no! They put up their thing just in time. Can I upgrade my, uh... Yes! More shields. More shields are required for me to win this game. I also think it would be a good idea to get more missiles. Place them here. See if that will uh, do any damage. I know that. Oh dear, that did a lot of damage to my shields, so perhaps readjusting them? So there you go, here. Whew, very, very hectic. A lot of fun, a lot of strategy. It's all It all goes down very quickly, and uh, I, I really appreciate that in a game. It's, it's got its uh, flair, and as it's in development, this is only the start, so hopefully there'll be more things to place, uh, uh, places to put them, no I don't want to put one of those down, and uh, uh, I haven't had the opportunity to play this with anyone, uh, as in not AI, so perhaps, yeah I'm about to win this, because um, I haven't been able to play this with any real people, so yeah! Victory! I haven't been able to play this with any real people, finally be able to actually finish my sentence, uh, and I'd be interested to see how that plays out. Uh, as you saw uh, at the beginning of this, you could uh, select a, a controller, uh, like an Xbox controller, and connect that to your PC, which is uh, probably the easiest way to do it, because I know sharing a keyboard can be tricky sometimes. Huh. So, after all that talking and that very hectic game, even against an easy player, I can't imagine how difficult it is to get beaten up by a more difficult AI. I recommend going and downloading this game. There will be links to everything in the uh, in the description. Um, thanks to Turtle Sandbox for making this game and tiring me out somewhat. Uh, thanks to you for watching, and goodbye. Whew. Destroyed 15 buildings. I only lost two buildings. I'm pretty happy about that. Goodbye, everyone.